Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Some of you out there are likely encrypting your entire hard disk with something like PHP or possibly even BitLocker that ships with Windows Vista. Of course, that's assuming you can get Windows Vista to work. Um, there apparently was a, a report today regarding at least a part of PGP in relation to whole disk encryption. And uh, so we started a Skype call between Cat, Lord Cat, two completely separate people, two completely separate genders, and uh, <laughs> SC Thor. And uh, SC Thor, can you, and if, if you don't mind, I can just call you by the handle. I mean, unless you, yep. you, you that's your... Is that, is fine with me. Well, I didn't know if that was your real name and you had that on your driver's license or what. Um, no. Okay. My name is Alan. <laughs> My name, okay, well, good. Okay, well, now that you've outed yourself, Alan, uh, okay. <laughs> so to speak, uh, could you? <laughs> us, was no Alan. I wanted to start out by by explaining first of all what PGP was, why it's useful, why people might want to run it on their systems at home, and then in relation to bringing it back to the the bigger picture of uh, this uh, press release that was issued today. Yes, uh, PGP is. Uh, became famous for inventing a security product for encrypting emails and they are in signing emails which this signing an email is a cryptographic way of proving who sent it a lot of people especially people that are often have people impersonating them like Leo Laporte use PGP signing on their email to prove that this email actually came from them and then the PGP email encryption is a way to encrypt the email so only the intended recipient can read it They've come up with a new product called PGP Whole Disk Encryption, which encrypts an entire hard drive. It's specifically designed for laptops so that if they get stolen, the data isn't accessible without the password. However, it was discovered that there's a feature or mode called Encryption Bypass, which allows you to access the data without the password. And when they, the CTO of PGP Corp, uh, John Callis, was asked about it. He said that it was a feature required by unnamed customers and that competing products have similar functionality. Uh, so they're basically saying the whole feature of whole disk encryption was BS. It, if, if I... Pretty much. It sounds like... Wow. It, it seems like it seems like it's a, a feature that has to be turned on or off, and if it's left on, then it negates the entire point. But the fact that that feature exists pretty much invalidates the entire product. So, like, there, there are whole disk encryption systems that actually work, just not this one. Dude, oh, this is a that's a huge black eye. The people are going to be people are going to be leaving uh, P PGP. I almost said P PHP. Two completely different yes. things. PGP, yep. pretty good privacy. They're going to leave it in the dust. Yes. There's no okay. way. There's no way they can trust it. No way. No. Exactly. No. What if somebody, you know, one user that's not the main owner of the laptop? What if they have that turned off, and the laptop's stolen? It's completely vulnerable, and all the information on it can be taken. Wow. Exactly. You know, I uh, speaking of, and it's it's somewhat unrelated, but yet related. Not exactly the encryption level, but a few it was a few weeks ago we did a recording about laptop safety and low jack for laptops, and someone had emailed me a, a, a link to something called I think it was Undercover is the name of it from Orbicule.com, and Undercover is a program that runs on the Mac that will automatically take a snapshot uh, through the built-in eyesight. If your laptop's stolen, you basically report it, and then it'll the next time the person gets online, it'll start taking snapshots and then emailing them out to help authorities locate the perpetrator. But then they also suggested something you do in OS X. You can lock down any kind of disk formatting inside of OS X. Now, granted, that's uh, that's not the level of encryption and you know really protecting data on the disk, but it does provide another layer of well, security to a lot of those dumb thieves who are out there, who, who who may think they're doing something right when in fact they're well, they're doing it right, but there's a way to, so to speak, uh, culturally hack them 
Because most uh, people who would steal a laptop wouldn't assume that you had a LoJack installed or that you had uh, supplied an administrator password for any kind of disk operations. Yeah, PGP and uh, that, well, you know, like I said, it's, it's kind of been a brand for trust and encryption, and that seems to have gone right out the window. Exactly. Now, what about uh, this in relation to BitLocker? They mentioned, without actually mentioning any names, uh, that yeah. other companies have done the same thing. Uh, I think it's just a matter of hours before Microsoft releases something, either saying that their ultimate add-on is also complete bunk or not. Well, the first thing with the, the BitLocker is that it doesn't actually encrypt the entire disk. It requires part of the disk to not be encrypted for the to be for you to be able to access the encrypted part. Right. Yeah, but isn't that still but, at the it's still tied into the BIOS. It's still yeah, tied into the hardware exactly, level. Exactly. It probably has the same vulnerabilities. Yikes. So what's the true solution then? If someone's going for wants whole disk encryption, well, okay, so Give me the solution, but then explain why someone would even want to encrypt their hard disk to begin with. Well, really, the, the only solution is an open source solution because you, it's been checked, and if there was a hole in, like that in it, somebody would remove it and make a different version of the open source version that didn't have this gaping security hole in it. There's a number of different, well, almost every different yeah, but, okay, operating system here, here's the thing. something like this. But, but, but they've already come out and said that they don't see this as a security hole. This is a feature, not a bug. That's the way they see it. That's not the way we see it. Right, but understand that that's the way they're going to approach it. It's a feature. It's not a bug. True, true. So it's, it's, yeah. a, different e it's a different ethos. It's a different way of looking at it altogether. That's, wow. Well, that's it's wild. the same way that in Windows there's a feature that if you encrypt an individual file with the, the Microsoft protection thing that came with Windows 2000, the administrator can override that because you might forget your password. Sure. At but which point, it's like... <laughs> it negates the entire process right. of encryption but see, and, that, and that's, that's the whole thing. This is the way I always look at privacy, and I've even brought this up in the past on videos. I've gone on record saying that if you are trying to keep your life private and you're on the internet get off the internet, move to a shack in Montana, don't talk to anybody, don't carry health care coverage, uh, don't, you know, don't eat anything, don't touch anything, don't breathe, because privacy is, is a complete illusion. And honestly, I think security, there's ways you can, you know, mitigate any kind of uh, breach of security, but I still think that security, by and large, is an illusion. It's an absolute illusion. Yes. Alan, um, you were talking about open source solutions. Life is just 2007. Pasted a link in the chat room a few minutes ago. It's uh, truecrypt.org, and he says it's open source encryption. Oh, great. Yes, uh, I think that I is check this site. one of the ones that will actually work with Windows. Great. Yeah, it says uh, creates a virtual encrypted disk with a, within a file and mounts it as a real disk, encrypts an entire hard disk partition or storage device. Uh, automatic, real-time, and transparent, two levels of plausible deniability. I mean, I haven't tried it, obviously. I just now heard about it, but I thought I'd mention it for everyone. But yes, the one thing that it can do is basically, instead of encrypting a whole partition, you can encrypt, uh, basically you make a, a virtual hard drive in a file kind of thing. So you name the file something, and then you can, if someone asks you about it, you can pin you don't know what it is. It's some, you can, you can name it like it was your swap file or something. So they would look at it and see a bunch of random garbled stuff and they would think that's what it was supposed to be when it actually contains an encrypted partition of some kind. Hmm. Yeah, it says it's available. It says it works for Windows, Vista, XP, 2000, and Linux. So thank you for that, Life is Just. That's the, very the, cool. The thing they're trying to add there is that the, the second layer of security called plausible deniability. And it's, if you encrypt your whole hard drive, somebody can see that, all right, this disk is encrypted. This person obviously has something to hide. But if they can't tell that there's anything hidden there in the first place, they won't look as hard, and there will be less suspicion. All right, so what about everybody else out in the general community? What are you guys using for encryption, if anything at all, uh, if it's not true crypt or, or PGP? What do you think about this situation? I think it's, well, it's a total black eye. I, I, well, you know, I'm wanting to see if anybody else out there wants to make comment, uh, possibly even. And, and you had something, uh, something else here before we wrap up? Well, uh, for email encryption, there's an open source version of, of 
or alternative to PGP called GNU-PG, which is the basically the same thing but open source. And you can get a plugin for Mozilla Thunderbird called Enigmail that will let you use that on any operating system. What about Outlook? Um, I'm not sure about that. I don't like Outlook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, regardless of what email client or operating system you might happen to use, go ahead, leave a comment, follow up, or email us. Uh, you can get it to me, chris at perillo.com, uh, if you don't feel like adding a comment. In fact, uh, I've been forwarding on some of your comments to Kat. She's been adding some of them to our original video posts so that the whole community can benefit from the knowledge that's out there in the greater world, including you. You're also welcome to swing by the chat room anytime, day or night, to strike up a conversation. Uh, I may be here, I may not be here, someone else may be on camera, or not. Uh, you're welcome to participate as a, a community member. And by the way, uh, I also have to mention um, that uh, you can save 10% at godaddy.com for your next domain name registration. Uh, maybe you can register pgp isn't as secure as you think it is dot com. I don't know. Maybe that, that might get you sued. I don't know because you're using someone else's trademark. Uh, anyway, uh, save 10% by using the coupon code CHRIS1 and you'll be reminded of that when you come by our chat room anytime, day or night. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. <laughs> By the way, that it's a three finger I salute. Love saying that. Control control alt delete. That's what it means. People were asking what it means. That's what it means. So